is Limb Loss and Limb Loss Prevention Month. A first ever two part procedure at the VA in San Francisco has piloted an innovative solution that allows a patient to have a more natural feel and control of their prosthetic limb. New at 6 KTVU's Alice Wirtz reports. It's the first time ever above knee amputees will have access to this program, first being offered here at San Francisco. 50 year old Doug Mayo is an Air Force veteran. He's used a prosthetic leg for seven years. It attaches above his knee. He used to have problems there. Came infected. Um, 13 surgeries, three years later, uh, there wasn't any antibiotics anymore that would touch the infection, so I had the choice. My choice was pretty easy. The leg's not that important. Um, so they, they took my leg. He's from Nebraska. Married with five adult kids, he owns and runs a cattle farm. My biggest fear, uh, when I had to choose amputation was I wouldn't be able to do things I was able to do. And that's not even my biggest fear. My biggest fear that I was going to be a hindrance on people. I didn't want people to do things for me. He got word, a new program piloting a two surgery procedure, osseo integration, could help. It would take a long time. The first surgery, invasive, to install a post, six months of healing and physical therapy, then a second surgery to position the new limb, more recovery, more PT, another six months. Crutches are horrible. Uh, I use my hands for everything. You can't when you're walking. Um, but I also know that when this is done, I'm going to be able to walk easier, walk better, have better uh, perception of what I'm stepping on. Uh, I'm going to be able to take a shower with my leg on. It's a freedom of sorts for this veteran. Less pain, less skin irritation, better control and balance, and more independence. Help my dogs, help my wife, anybody else. I can help them now or before I'd have crutches. They'd have to help me out. It's not going to be perfect. It's not a real leg. It's still a prosthesis, but I'm good at that. Mayo's physical therapist, Ron Feliciano, says his patient's great attitude makes him a model patient. He's confident Mayo will be successful. We really encourage patients to get moving. I'm doing the opposite. He's doing more, and I'm, okay, slow down, take it easy, Doc. <laughs> we want you to really do well. As the medical director for the VA in San Francisco, Dr. Ovi Biagiole is hopeful that osseo integration will be offered to other veterans. It's actually a game changer for many of our esteemed veterans. They are really able to enhance their quality of life and also able to ambulate much better. This really supports an active lifestyle for our veterans. For Doug Mayo, he's grateful to the doctors, the staff, and their modern, innovative approach to patient care. Don't hesitate, uh, have faith, in the VA, it's not like it used to be. Alice Wirtz, KTVU, Fox 2 News.